What's up interweb? Rykwin here bringing you a brand new kind of video. I'll hopefully be bringing you informational videos like these from now on as it's something I've wanted to explore for a while. So for the first video of this kind, what am I tackling? It's something anyone who's done competitive battling may already know a great deal about, and anyone who's ever played a Pokemon game will have experienced without realising. I am of course referring to the greatest move in the game, Double Team. Ooh, you suck! Tch, <laughs> as if I'd waste a pilot video on that. Today, I'm going to be talking about damage calculation. So everyone who's watching this video should know, in Pokemon battles you choose a move for your Pokemon to use against the opposing Pokemon and bish bash bosh, damage is done. But what I'm actually looking at is what happens during that uh, bish bash bosh process, and how the exact numbers are processed to calculate the amount of hit points reduced from the opposing Pokemon, aka damage. Now there are a lot of factors that determine how much damage a certain move can do, so I warn those of you who are of a nervous disposition around mathematical equations and formulae, look away now. Boom! There it is. The damage calculation. Well, uh, end of video I guess then. Bye everyone! Okay, but seriously, what exactly are we looking at here? There's numbers and words and equationception going on. Well, the numbers are pretty self-explanatory, they're just fixed numbers, they don't change, so we can ignore those for the time being. Let's deal with the words. And to help explain this, we'll use an example as we go along the way. So let's say we've got a Rhyperia, because of course, Rhyperia, using Earthquake against a Sylveon in a standard Wi-Fi battle, both Pokémon at level 50. So, let's go for the first word, let's deal with level. This is a pretty easy one, it's just the level of the attacking Pokémon. So, 50 in our example, just this number right here. So let's plug that in the calculation and move on. Next is attack. Again, pretty simple. The attack stat of the attacking Pokemon depending on which category of move they're going for. So for a physical attack, it would be their attack stat. For a special attack, it would be, well, special attack. The clue's in the name. Now this number can change based on the Pokemon's base stats, level, nature, IVs, and EV investment, but that's a story for another day and another video. So for now, let's just look at Rhyperia's attack stat and take that number. Defense is again, fairly easy. The defense stat of the defending Pokemon based on which category of move is being used. So for a physical attack, defense, or for a special attack, special defense. And there are a couple of exceptions, this can be changed with moves like Psy Shock or Secret Sword, which use special attack and defense, but we're just using Earthquake, nothing complicated in this one, so let's just take Sylveon's defense stat and put that in the calculation as well. Next is base, and base refers to the base attack of the move used. You see this number? That's it right there. For Earthquake, it's base 100, because round numbers are great. Now we get to the fun stuff. Modifier refers to quite a few variables, so let's break it down. Break it down. First up is Stab, which stands for Same Type Attack Bonus. If the move being used is the same type as the Pokemon using it, the Stab value in the damage calculation is 1.5 times. If not, then it stays at 1 times, essentially doing nothing to the end result. In this case, Earthquake is a Ground-type attack, and Rhyperia is a Ground-type Pokémon, so the value for Stab is 1.5 times. Type refers to if the move is super effective, resisted, or anything else. This value can be 0, 0 0.25, 0.5, 1, 2, or 4, depending how the move matches up against the opposing Pokémon in terms of type matchup. In this case, Earthquake is neutral against the Fairy Pokémon Sylveon, so the value is 1. Now, critical. The bane of many people's competitive battling careers. Just me saying the word critical probably has your skin crawling. Yeah, this little number right here determines whether the attack is a critical hit or not. With a random number generator, the game will decide if the move is a critical hit, or if it wants to be nice. Without any boost from other moves, berries, items, abilities, or similar things like that, the chance of a critical hit occurring is 6.25%, or 1 in 16 chance. If the RNG decides this move is THE move, this number will be 1.5 times. If not a critical hit, it'll stay at 1. Now, other is the most complicated part of this calculation, as it takes into account multiple things. Held items that can change damage output like Life Orb, Expert Belt, Choice Specs, or anything like that get inputted here, as well as status conditions like Burn, Halving Physical Attack Power, Field Advantages like Light Screen and Reflect, Weather Conditions such as Rain or Sun, and whether the battle is a double or triple battle or not, as certain moves have reduced damage output and are informally known as spread moves. 
all of this information gets blended into one number. And in this case, with Rhyperia and Sylveon, the number is... 1. No boosting items, no weather conditions, it's a single battle, no screens are up, we're keeping it simple. So let's take one, and let's move on. Finally, we get to the last part. Random. Does the term damage rolls sound familiar? That's this step right here. Anyone who has used a damage calculator online before will have seen that there is a range of damage that can be done, always X amount to Y amount, never a fixed number. That's because of this little factor right here. I'm sure some people have been on the receiving end of an unfavorable damage roll when they needed it. So, let's look at the numbers behind it. Based again on RNG, that pesky random number generator, a number between 0.85 and 1 is generated and inserted into the calculation. Wait, 0.85 to 1? If it's 1, it doesn't affect the calculation, so does that mean anything other than 1 just reduces the damage? Is this step only here to reduce the possible damage output? Is Nintendo trying to make me cry? Yes. Yes, they are. This little step either does nothing or reduces damage. And if that seems unfair, I'll reiterate. This is Pokemon made by Nintendo, the company that has blue shells in Mario Kart. So, once that number has been generated, it gets plugged into the modifier calculation. We get the modifier number, and that gets plugged into the overall damage calculation. Oh, and did I mention, the end result always gets rounded down. So if you can do 123.9999999999 damage, you will never do 124, only 123 maximum. Because the game clearly hates you. So, after all that, after all the numbers, all the variables have been decided, we can finally work out exactly how much damage this earthquake will do against this Sylveon. Rhyperia can do, drumroll please, 141 to 166 damage. Yay! So, uh, what does that mean? Well, as Sylveon's HP at full is 202, Rhyperia's Earthquake can do anywhere from 69.8 to 82.1% damage. Not enough to make it faint from full HP, so let's see if we calculated it correctly, shall we? Huzzah! We did it! We finally worked out how much damage one singular move can do. Now bear in mind, this process occurs for every single move used in the game. So the returning hyper waste from Sylveon is calculated and every subsequent turn is calculated too. And this entire process takes place in the fraction of a second. Competitive battlers who understand this system can manipulate it to do the most amount of damage possible to the opponent, immediately giving them the upper hand in any battle. Not bad for a kid's game, huh. Thanks for watching this pilot video, I hope you enjoyed the new style of it. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, it would be great to see my hard work pay off. Let me know if there's any topics you want me to cover, who knows, I might take your request. Leave suggestions down in the comments below. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you all soon for another video. Toodaloo!